Still got a shitty microphone. <laughs> oh, you. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to more Muppet Monster Adventure. In this part, we're going into the monastery monastery. Monastery, and this is like one day after the last part, so it wasn't that long. Yeah, but um, this is like the first of the ice-themed levels, is what I like to call them, because they're all very icy. And this one is like an Asian-themed level as well. I like this level a lot. It reminds me of um. Dragon Dojo a bit from... Uh, oh, yeah. 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 And it reminds me a yeah, bit that's of... That's true, actually. It does, yeah. Like, I see... Uh, oh, no, Frozen Altars a bit, or whatever. Yeah. Bamboo Terrace got that kind of feel. Um, i be surprised if Into the Dragon... The people make it Into the Dragon if I played this game before. Making yeah, it. they might have. Yeah, I don't know. Um, So, yeah, this level... Uh, these enemies here are blatant ripoffs of the uh, enemies at the earlier parts of the game. And don't miss anything yeah. over the they bridge. Just got, they just got, like, an Asian colors on them instead. That's, that's, that's the only difference. And we don't have a reused uh, music track for once. This is an original for this level. So yay on that, I guess. Because um, every other track... Well, not every other track, but most tracks are remixed. or No, not remixed, just reused tracks. But uh, you should have known that by now. And look at that, we're already 7%, 8% complete in this level. And wait, wait, I thought this one there was a new track. It is a new track, that's what oh, I said. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, it's, and this is this late in the game, yeah, I know what you're saying. And look at this, this is like the most retarded thing ever. They just put this little room here, and, um, like, the door is, like, there. Like, what the hell, the switch is there, whatever. Yeah, it does another, po another pointless uh, add addition of the target things. Mm. It is. Um, so... This level is weird. There's like a like two thing like two lots of th stuff to do outside the uh, outside the level, and then you go into it like um, a bit later. The first thing obviously we're doing is this part down here, which is the uh, frozen lake or something. I don't know what you want to call it. And uh, we have those fish returning from the last like three levels, I think. And there's the bee, and there's our first Muppet token. So that's 88 Muppet tokens for us. Oh shit, I'm getting my ass handed to me by these uh, puffer fish. And I need to get a couple more things under here. So yeah. I don't know what to talk about now. <laughs> so wh wh why do you like this level so much? I don't like it so much, I just think it's a nice looking level. Oh yeah, it, no, I think it is too. Like, it's like, um, I, I'm not sure who it was, I think it was Al, but he, he said something like, um, he likes snow levels at night. I don't know who it was who said that. But, and this is a snow level at night, so. It fulfills that quota, but it's a, it's a nice looking level. It has mm. a bit of atmosphere to it. Reminds me of also of those levels from um, Gex 2, the uh, Asian levels. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it just reminds me of anything Asian, yeah. Well, yeah, but like you'll, you'll come up to a part in a second yeah. here. Um, yeah, we have to follow I, Rizzo the Rat here. This I, is probably the hardest Rizzo challenge in the game. Is it? I think so. In this reporter's humble opinion, it is. Although what you can do is get him. No, can I get him? Come on, Rizzo. There we go. There we go. There we go. That wasn't too hard. No, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> a bit harder than usual. A bit harder than running around a pond or something, which he occasionally does. Uh, yeah, but yeah, this um, this level's nice. It's got, uh, you know, you'd think you'd expect it to be nice for one of the later levels in the game. Um, I don't think it's that hard, to be honest. Like, I don't know what you think about it, but I don't think it's that hard. Oh, uh, yeah, this level isn't that hard, yeah. So you'd expect it to be hard for, like, the last... Yeah. But the last just... few levels aren't really that difficult, to be honest. Yeah. They they just, like, um, I don't know, like, they probably probably made this, like, not expecting it to be one of the last levels. Or maybe yeah. they did, but they just didn't make it as hard as they thought that they could have. Yep. We use our karate chop power on this door. Uh, you have to do this I'm... a couple times in this level. I remember when I was playing this, I, I really had no idea where like the last couple of evil energy were, but they're on the t they were on like like little crevices on, uh, near those roofs up the top there. Oh yeah, there's a lot of um, these little hidey holes in those roofs there. Yeah, uh, which we'll get to in a second. I can assure you. See, I think uh, is the O up there? I don't know. I forget what the O is actually. Oh yeah, since I haven't actually, I've only I've played this level like early today, so um. I'm not like an expert on it or anything. This is like only the second time I've ever played this level, and I haven't watched your video on it or anything. So I mean, uh, yeah, you expect me to have watched your video on it since like you're the only person who's done a credible walkthrough of this game. Yeah. But, alas, I have not. Are yeah. You? Well, there's, no, there's nothing really that that tedious in this level. Uh, 
um, difficult to find apart from the stuff on the roofs. But I mean, if you know, if you know if you to go there, then you're pretty much done anyway. Look at that. We're already 38% through this level. It's really quick, actually, and it's shorter compared to um a couple of other levels that we've seen a bit. Oh well, yeah. Earlier, and it's not very hard. Um, a lot of returning kind of shit. Oh, how do we get up there again? I think I have to go around. We need to go there for one. So, do you have to go there? Like up here? Um, I'm not too sure. I can't well, remember. Let's see. Uh, do you? Is there anything up there? Let's just. Yeah, just have back. a view. Let's walk back us a bit. And, uh, I don't think there is. Oh, I look like here. No, I can't see anything. Oh, well, let's go. Ah, uh, this gong here does nothing. I'm pretty sure. It's just there. It'd be cool if you could like spin it or something, but you can't. Uh. Ooh, I've collected nothing. Okay. Uh, more evil energy here. Yeah, these big um abominable snow guys. Um, for their size, you think you'd have to like warp glove them, but you actually or power glove them. But you only have to like you only spin them for some reason, probably because they have a shield. As we all know, shields can uh, deflect warp ray or whatever they want to call that. Okay. This area here reminds me of Bentley's Outpost a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's another thing this level reminds me of. Anything snowy or um, otherwise. Uh, 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 that river. Um, it doesn't like do anything. It just, mean, it just means that you can only. I think you can only get like, up one side of it or something. I don't have the O in bonus yet, and I'm assuming it's back, but, um... No, oh. they, they might be just tricking you. They might be, yeah. I don't think I got the O last time. They put, like, S right at the end of, like, the like, the start of, like, one of the previous... Oh, ones. I already have the S, yeah, so... Yeah. They're yeah, not, so. like, in any order, I hope. They just, like, yeah, they just, like, try to trick you these days. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, these guys look like the guys from the, uh... Actually, all these enemies, like, reused from, like, the first couple levels. Um, these guys are just palette swaps of the, um... The wood chopping or the tree lopping guys from earlier. Ah, uh, right. I assume you have to crouch up this door here with the red dragon on it. That's a movie, Red Dragon, starring Anthony Hopkins. But I'm sure everyone knew that already. I'm not the first person to mention that in a let's play. Maybe I am. I don't know. And crouch up this here to reveal a love heart and a chest. Yeah. It's actually, we've, we've been on the on the straight and narrow for this commentary. We haven't really um referenced too much stuff. There's the end up there. We haven't really, yeah, we've just been pretty much talking about the level, so that's good. It's finally, uh -huh. some, prof finally uh, uh, no, some I can't tell if you like that or not, but well, no, I'm saying finally some professionalism in this let's play. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Although the one time I do, my microphone's not working, so I'm using this desktop one, which sounds very bassy. Yeah, oh, I, I still recommend that you should use the, the spinny thing, because you, I think you can kill the enemies faster and stuff. Can you and as you can see, you can't get up from here, you're just like, stuffed. Yeah, how do you get up anyway? Like, you You're go gonna back. go back, yeah, gotta swim back to the other side, so... Surf up. Well, I would suggest that, yeah, you go back underwater. Okay, let's see if I can... can you see, kill you can kill the puffer fish even when they're like, like that, see? Yeah, the you spinny. Okay. It's kind of really hacksy. Where do I get up? Over here, I think. I'm pretty sure where the uh, water thing's at its lowest. Yeah, there we are. Right. Now, how do I go about... Oh, I'll probably like this. There's the U, so all I need now is the O. Oh. Close so up this door. And we find a switch, which would open up... Nothing. Don't you love those switches that open nothing? They're my favorite types of switches, in my opinion. You need two switches. Actually, it's it's very ag aggravating. It's I don't like when that when this game does that. It does it frequently, it very frequently. Yeah, like, I know, I know. In the last couple levels, like I've noticed, they're doing it all the time. I know. It pisses me off. What? Where the hell is he going? Really? <laughs> oh well, thank you for that. <laughs> what? Was that back earlier in the level? Yeah, it was. Really? That's such a lazy. Lazy thing to do. <laughs> That's like saying, "Well, we're just going to hand it to you out in the open, so just go go a tiny bit further in the level, and we'll just give it to you then." And that would be ninety Muppet tokens. Look at that ninety. Oh, and look at this. Robin is so pitiful. 
Wait, can he? Oh, look, he can get up there. They put the step here, but you can actually jump out of the pit. That's a first. Robin being out, able to jump out of something unheard of. Preposterous. Oh, now we're on 70%, huh? I might get this level in one part, he says, hopefully. Which, ah, uh, might not happen. Kill him. I certainly won't want those guys um, tending my bushes if they go around killing people. Maybe that's the point. And what's a co-commentary series without a co-commentator? Or just a commentary series, I guess. As one would uh, presume, and that was very pointless as well. Jeez, it's so lazy. Like, they just, like, make these karate chop things just to unnecessarily prolong the game. Okay, perhaps what I'm not looking for is another switch, because that's the switch that opens up the thing there. And spin that. And, uh, yeah. So. Oh, 